Hey guys, it's Michael Jackson, and we are here recording uh, this podcast. This is number two, and I've decided we're going to do two things. We're going to record it as a normal podcast for audio only, and I decided I'm going to record it as video also. So for all you guys on uh, that are going to be on, I don't know, YouTube, probably on the website, I'm going to have the video and audio portions of this. Everyone else will be able to get the audio only and listen to it in your cars or wherever you are that you only get audio. And um, we're going to see how that works. And of course, eventually I'll learn how to make this even better. So number two right here. So I, I, yesterday I talked about the fact that I have done several things and basically it came down to I like to help people. I talked about uh, my time with the karaoke cult just a little bit. We're going to really get, dig into the karaoke cult. and I'm going to show you some video of people singing and us showing everybody the love and all that kind of stuff. Uh, one of these days, probably within the next week or so, I talked about you know, having business with my brother and dad and stressing out so much until I finally learned, you know what, I need to let go of it. I can turn off the telephones. I've got people answering the phones. Why am I doing that? Um, by the way, I should probably look at you guys. Um, I also talked at about um, the fact that I did um, spin classes. You know, I taught people how to uh, get into the spin class and build their health. And I loved doing that class because it wasn't. It was about people that getting in shape, losing weight, but it was more about people believing that they could do something. It was about being able to say, "Oh my gosh, you know what? I can do this." And I reminded people it was never me that did it. It was you know I might have prompted them to do it, and they were the ones who came to the class, who actually got on the bikes and actually did the work. And so. The thing about this is I'm going to do the same thing with you and your business. As you watch me build Chili Jam to what it hopefully will become some amazing thing, um, along the way, you may have questions. I want to help you build your business, your dream or whatever it is at the same time, okay? So I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to show you, uh, by the way, this is Cooper. He's my dog. Uh, he was my dog. He has passed away now. Um, let's share this and let me show you. I've got a um, tire system I put together of the things that I do and I want to help my clients do as they grow their businesses. And we're gonna, I've got a, a 15 minute video that goes through this kind of quickly. But what I'm gonna do today is show you the uh, pieces of the system. And you, let me make this a little smaller so you can see that it's actually you know, fairly detailed and laid out. That's not what I want to do. Let me move this over. And you can see there's the whole system. And I'll put this online someplace so you don't have to bother trying to screenshot it or anything. I'm going to put it online so you can see it. Um, and I'll get you a link to it as soon as I figure out where that's going to be. All right, but there's like nine little columns here. And each one of these columns uh, is another process that has to happen so that we can actually start doing uh, social media effectively. And this is only for the social media component. In other words, uh, for, for Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, and how to actually start building your following and where to get your content and the things that you need to know uh, in order to grow your audience. So let, let me go through what the pieces are right now, and then we will uh, go dig into it uh, a little bit later. So I start with this free setup and interviews, and that's before anything else, you know, and I'm going to go through what all that means uh, eventually. Then we have uh, initial client setup, we get the passwords and all the um, basics of uh, of everybody's social media sites. We're going to do a website reviews and uh, update. We're going to look at like how their site's working now. We're going to look at the analytics. We're going to look and see if we've got all the uh, pixels in place. We're going to look at um, just everything we need to about that website. Do you have an offer above the fold? Hmm. I bet most people probably don't. Um, then we'll look at your social media sites and what's going on there. We'll look at the current state of the marketplace in your actual niche, okay? So if you're in you know, clothing, if you're in pet food, pet photography, if you're in um, you know, whatever kind of sales you're in or service or network marketing, we're gonna look at that niche, who's number one in it, um, what are they doing right and wrong, and what can you do also. Uh, then we're gonna talk about basic branding so that all your properties look exactly alike. And we're going to talk about where to get some um, content for your sites. Uh, Gary, Gary V, I love that guy, uh, calls it pillar post. Matter of fact, that's, it's not just his term. That's actually um, a very popular 
term that uh, just talks about taking a large piece of content, cutting it into several pieces, and being able to post it all over the place, okay? Um, these are some of the places that you can create those pillar posts, and we'll talk about what to do with them. As a matter of fact, we're going to dig into uh, creating some pillar posts. As a matter of fact, some of you guys might be on the show. We're going to do an interview. We're going to talk about what you're doing. You can turn that into a piece of pillar post content, okay? So um, you guys that want to dig into this process, let me know, and we'll probably set you up for some sort of interview. Uh, then there, of course, is the whole pr uh, processing piece that you have to do where you put posts into your different social media networks. And then, uh, believe it or not, I firmly believe that as well as just posting your own content, you should be looking at all of your one competitor's content, the stuff that people in your area are posting, uh, what your feedback is from your clients, from your uh, competitor's clients, and you should be responding to that kind of stuff. So we're gonna talk about how to do that and where to get all of those, um, those pieces. We're gonna call them leads. And we're eventually, all of this leads to getting off of whatever social media platform you're on. Let me stop sharing my screen. And um, here we go, you should be able to see me again. Yeah, we wanna get off of whatever social media platform you are on and you want to get them into your own email list. And I am flat out gonna call it an email list because uh, some people try to disguise an email list as a marketing list or a um, whatever it is, I don't, it doesn't matter. It is an email list and it's something that you control so that when the Facebook algorithm changes, the uh, Twitter algorithm changes, the Google algorithm changes, you don't care because you've got your own thing going, all right? We're gonna talk about how to do that and how to respond to those people and keep them involved with you so that you can actually um, make some money and so you can help people, which is really important and key, all right? so. Tomorrow, um, we're going to start literally with each one of those boxes, and we're going to go through them, and I'm going to talk about how to, um, how I, at least, use those uh, pieces of this funnel, this, this flow chart that I just showed you, to build an audience, okay? So that's it for today, and um, hit me up if you need anything, if you have any questions, or if you just want to chat, all right? Thanks a lot, and hmm, I have no idea how to stop this. All right, talk to you later. Bye.